What the hell's going on with our armed forces? I left them all back in 2005 and it was going downhill even then. It was noticeable, you could feel it. There was something sinister brewing. It was like elusive. It was political, but not being political minded as were many Scotties back then. We weren't sure what the hell was happening, but you know, we can sense it coming and it was time to leave anyway. So jump forward 2024 and a female RAF officer has been awarded £2,000 because uh, a senior officer told her to go and grow a pair. Uh, <laughs> hurty feelings. She was given money for hurty feelings. Now, the banter and abuse, the name calling uh, that I received and many others received in the mob at that time, my goodness, women like her wouldn't have lasted two minutes. Even some boys and men today, I doubt would have lasted back then because back then squaddies could do anything they wanted um, to the youngsters or the crows or the FNGs, fucking new guys. They could do anything and get away with it. Regiments were a law unto themselves and some brutal things really did happen. Really, really did happen. I'm sure I told you all the story on my last channel where we had a room inspection and one lad had a sister who was down syndrome and he had a photo up all right and i said to him listen just don't someone's gonna say something and it won't be pretty so put it in your wallet or something just don't provoke them because they're gonna say something anyway room room inspection came uh sergeant at the time along with the platoon commander looking around take the piss as they do uh came to this lad's bed space they saw his sister's photo and uh, looked at it for two minutes and said the sh see squaddy humor and that's what happens that's what happens ladies and gents you have to be a certain caliber to join the armed forces because unlike civvies you get involved and do things which aren't normal you take people's lives you see some pretty horrendous things uh I've been abroad, Ulster, Iraq, etc. And I did, you know, it's affected me. So how the hell do people expect to join the army now and think it's all smiles and sunshine? I don't know. But this woman, this female officer, uh, crying to the Ministry of Defence, saying, oh, you told me to go and grow a pair. You're an officer for heaven's sake. I know you're an RAF officer, but still. I'm sure she's been told worse, hasn't she? Wouldn't she? I mean, good Lord. Um, what if, say, she goes to war, God forbid, to defend our country, and she gets captured by the enemy, and they see this in the mainstream media, all right, okay, we'll just tell her to go and grow a pair. She'll spill the beans. If she's traumatised by being told to grow a pair by a senior officer, how is she going to deal with real torture, uh, even worse name-calling? She'll spill the beans, she'll reveal positions and and whatnot and you know they're not the sort of people we need defending our country defending our country it's uh unfathomable responsibility it really is unless you've commanded uh in theaters of war and operations you wouldn't understand it's an incomprehensible responsibility you, know, you have no idea and this woman should leave. She should hand back a commission and be a desk jockey somewhere. IT, I don't know, <clears throat> bin lady, uh, work in a, a betting shop. I, I don't know, but I don't think defending our nation is for people like her. That's what I think. Let me know in the comments what you think. And that's that. I'm Paz49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, Roger Trout. Hi, I'm Paz49 off that video you just watched and I want to thank you all for all the likes, comments and shares but now it's time to hit that subscribe button.